I'm Tim Fast, and today I'm going to set up some keyframes to add movement to stills and videos. Keyframes are one of the more mysterious but incredibly useful editing functions. I'll show you how easy they are to use, and to do that I'm going to add them to some still pictures, so this doubles up as a rostrum camera tutorial as well. Just to explain the rostrum camera, this was developed by filmmaker Ken Burns in the 1950s to make still pictures come alive by panning and zooming across the picture. In those days, the rostrum camera did it mechanically, but keyframes in all good video editors like Elements or Vegas Movie make it simple to do this in editing. Let's set it up. Take a still image, which can be any shape, and drop it on the timeline. Use drag to stretch it to the length you want. Now click on the Events Pan Crop tool. Switch the cursor sync on as this ties the position of the pan crop window with the position in your video timeline. Makes it a lot easier. Now you can zoom in and out, move and even tilt. You can see the effect in preview. Normally you'll want the aspect ratio to always stay the same at 16 by 9. So click here so you don't accidentally change it. So that's the basic tools looked at. So let's add the keyframes to turn them into movement. For this one, I want to zoom onto the face of the band leader. You see the first keyframe is already there. Sometimes you'll want the movement to start immediately, but often you'll want to establish the shot first, keeping it still for a second or two and then starting the motion. To do this, right click on the keyframe, copy it, and a second or so into the timeline, right click and paste a copy. This tells the editor, for this second or so, don't make any changes. Now put the cursor a second or so from the end of the position line, and do your moves and zooms, and now play it. Your editing software creates all the frames needed to make the smooth movement between your keyframes. If you want to adjust the timing, just grab and move the keyframe markers to make the adjustments. You can change the way it moves by right-clicking on the keyframe. Normally, use either linear or smooth, but have a look, see what looks best. For some effects, you'll just want a vertical or horizontal motion. Clicking here restricts the movement in either the X or the Y planes. I've used this on a stills image, but keyframes work in exactly the same way on video, where you can add pan or zoom to a fixed video position. One last thing, when you come to rendering your video, make sure to disable resampling. Look for the tutorial on that if you haven't come across this before. So that is Keyframe Basics, and you'll find a few more tutorials on using keyframes for effects, and also how to create that nicely subtle multi-plane rostrum effect. If you got something out of this, don't forget to like it and add it to your playlist. And of course subscribe, as there will always be more video making tutorials coming.